Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Jazz here, and I got my friend Kay. Hi. And today, as you can see from the title, we're going to be talking about entrepreneurship and growing pains. So this video is basically for entrepreneurs that might go through some of the same things that we are going through. If you do or if you have anything to add, please comment, let us know. And then also for new entrepreneurs who are just getting into entrepreneurship as a whole. Yeah, because we do manage different jobs and projects and we own our own businesses. So um, the first thing I want to touch on is coronavirus. So it has heavily affected us negatively and not to make light of the situation, but it also kind of affected us positively. So, I mean, yeah, because we were actually quarantined together. If you guys haven't seen, we did create some videos, some hair videos, a 2C, 3A, I am a 3A, 3B. We're going to be using the same product, which is Bounce Curl. And we even had fun on TikTok. Yeah, we did. <laughs> Bored in a house, bored in a house, bored. I'm bored in the month. Just getting more creative, building more. And then I think also in entrepreneurship in general, there's always going to be something. Something pops oh, up way. to just stop you. Because it, it does like I don't know what it is. It's like it's like a test. Like, okay, this is gonna happen, and then are you a real entrepreneur? Are you right. gonna push through it? Like you have to learn how to improvise. Yeah, Let's just, just troubleshoot. And just troubleshoot and keep yeah. it going. And never stop. Like never. so. I think that like the next part of this video is really about like the skills that you need to maintain and, and just practice as an entrepreneur. So with my business, it kind of affected me negatively because it was really hard to get um, ingredients and inventory because of how long everything was taking to ship out. Um, also, like I order all my ingredients from like this farm in Connecticut and production was just like really hard. Yeah, no, same here. Like I was trying to get samples to get the business going. Um, and I couldn't get my production. We're gonna share some of our tips and what we've been going through. If you guys have any advice maybe you can give us, you know, cause we're not perfect, we're new in this, but we're making it happen. And yeah, let's go over it. Let's do it. The top five things to help you grow as an entrepreneur. Number one, be consistent. Number two, set deadlines. Number three, take care of you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Number four, communication is everything. Number five, your network. Yes. That's huge. So number one is being consistent and that means creating a daily routine for yourself. Whether you have to create this in a calendar or even make a to-do list, just have a daily routine. Consistency in general, do one, at least one thing every single day that is in alignment with your purpose as an entrepreneur, whether um, it's your business or just growing and giving yourself more knowledge, whatever it is, be consistent in that because a bunch of little things add up to something big. Exactly. So the second one is setting deadlines. Yes. <laughs> that is so important because um, as she said, you're writing things down in your planner or um, your calendar and you need to know and motivate yourself to actually get these things done. Whether it's something that you need to do this week, today, or this month, make that deadline for yourself so that way you can be motivated to complete things. Facts. <laughs> so number three is taking care of you. So get some rest. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, mental health, what you're putting in your body, eating right, working out, even taking a nice walk. You need to take care of your mental health. It's so important. If your mind is clouded with anxiety or stress or whatever, um, you can't see anything straight. Because you definitely got to take care of you just to take it to the next level. Take time for you because that's going to help you clear your mind. What I like to do is, you know, I like to meditate, relax. Something that really helps me is just getting in with myself, like sitting in my room, listening to music, um, just doing some research on like what I'm, what I'm doing. Okay, so the fourth one is communication and customer service. So why are these two things so important? Well, customer service, one, is important because we have to communicate with you guys. And you know, the feedback and you know, if you have any complaints and stuff, that's really, really, really important for business guys. Having that open communication kind of keeps people on the same page and you're building customer relationships. So you're able to have people that keep coming back because not only do they really like your business, but they like what you stand for. I think this communication, like newsletters, figuring out how to create newsletters, how to send emails, being open and available to contact is really, really important. Yes. All right, so the last one is networking. And this one is so important, guys. I mean, if, I don't know if you guys know, but we are both corporate flight attendants, so we do have jobs, and then we also manage our business, and we make multiple sources of income. 
So with that being said, you know, we do meet a lot of people in different industries and you know, networking is so important because because you need to be around the right people. So um, what I mean by that is you don't want to stay around, stay stagnant and stay around right. the same people that are just not trying to grow because then you're not going to grow. Um, the law of attraction, when you hang out with people that are either above where you want to be or are where you want to be, it helps that you to be open to more abundance and, to grow. Um, and just to grow as, as an entrepreneur and as a person. You just need to be around high people in high places. Use that as motivation. Your network equals your net worth, right? All right, so with that being said, in order to network, you are going to have to get out of your comfort zone. So be comfortable with the uncomfortable. <laughs> Which can be really hard. <laughs> but um, I think it's important to take risks and do things that do make you feel uncomfortable, push yourself, um, but also respect your body and respect your intuition. So adding on to that, we do have flaws and things that make this really hard. And things that we get uncomfortable with. I get uncomfortable with a lot of these things, <laughs> but let's go over our flaws so you guys know. <laughs> we all got them, so what are yours? So my flaws, for instance, um, I would have to say procrastination. Um, I tend to hold things off till the last minute. Um, but the reason why I do that is because I work best under pressure. That's not good because, you know, like I was saying in the beginning of like having a daily routine and stuff like that, procrastination just kind of just conflicts with that. So, you know, being consistent and just not procrastinating on these projects is really like one of my biggest things. Another one is self-doubt. I basically second guess a lot of things and just don't feel like it's good enough. There's a lot of content, pictures, videos that I just don't put out or share with you guys because I'm just not sure about it. I'm just always like, no, it's not good enough. To me, it's never good enough. So it's so hard for me to post things at times. Mine, I think, would be my introvertedness and um, selling myself short. So with the introvertedness, like I have days that I just don't want to do anything, um, don't want to talk to people, kind of just want to go in my shell. <laughs> Even when it comes to networking, like I am never the person to go start a conversation. I'm kind of shy. Um, I have to, yeah, work on getting out of my shell. So introvertedness can be a downfall for me sometimes. Luckily, I've been able to create really great customer relationships online with my customers. Um, and so that's helped me. Also selling myself short. Uh, so don't sell yourself short because you're gonna lose a lot of money. No. <laughs> One thing that I did when I started my business was just put a random price on things that I was making, which was stupid. You're um, to calculate everything. <laughs> yeah. So then I learned it's real math, and you have to calculate well, not only the ingredients that you're using and um, and everything, all your inventory, but also the time that it takes you to make these things. Put the time you're putting in. Exactly. Um, you know, write all the ingredients down. And it's math. Yeah. It's 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 math. Um, so that's something that I didn't know. So I sell myself short a lot and um, it, it, can, it can really hurt you. If you know that what you're offering is quality, don't sell yourself short. And because people who want to support you and want um, what you're offering are going to buy. Okay. Yeah. yeah, they're they gonna pay, pay that price. So. And they're gonna appreciate um, the quality. If you take more time and um, put the effort into making it really quality, they're gonna appreciate that. So I learned um, not to sell myself short. I'm still learning how to not sell myself short. Yeah, and so like with that being said, you know, we are aware of our flaws and we're constantly trying to work on them. We're always trying to basically be the best versions of ourselves for ourselves and then for you guys as well. Yeah. And so just as entrepreneurs, I think all, like everything that we just talked about as a whole is just um, really important. It doesn't mean that we're doing every single one of those things every day. We're not perfect we're not. and we're still working, but these are things that um, we thought were really important to touch upon and share with you guys. Yeah. Those are just some flaws that we have. I don't I don't know what you guys' are, but it would be nice if you drop them in the comments and let us know because yeah. you can help other new entrepreneurs. But one thing before we do go, we did want to share our last uh, tip, which is, you know, reading books. And that helps with us in our careers. Mm -hmm. I've read like so many books um, start before starting my business, like, m like more than 10 um, on everything that I was like trying to do and I think that's really important but also um, how we touched upon in the video just taking care of you and just having that clear mind space so you can get things done like I said if you have anxiety and all of these emotions and things you're not gonna be able to see clearly so um, a book that helped me see clearly um, in getting started in my business was this one um, the four agreements
That is like one of my yeah. favorite books. I've read that probably like three times. Now. It's yeah, it's really really good, and it helps you kind of get out of your head and just exactly. put things into perspective, um, and just have that clear headspace. Yeah. What are the four agreements again? Is be, be impeccable, impeccable with, with your, your word. <laughs> um, don't assume. Don't take anything personal. And, yep. always, and always do, do your best. best. <laughs> and this helped me like really know and understand how to always do my best. Right. So a new book that I have been reading is called The Compound Effect. And this is basically giving you like the principles of being a business owner and having the structure. And this is like, I've learned so much from this book already. I'm not finished reading it, but I'm working on it. Mm -hmm. So this is one that I highly recommend to you guys as well. So I think that all of these tools, if you are a new entrepreneur, hopefully will help you. And if you are a current entrepreneur and already like in your business, hopefully um, you've been able to relate to this video. All right, so we're wrapping things up. I hope you guys learned a lot of tips from us on entrepreneurship growing pains. But before you go, make sure you subscribe, like, and comment. You already know the deal. And follow us on Instagram. Yeah, mine is so Jazze, and my business page is you and I bloom. And mine is Kay Care, and my business page is Care by Kay. All right, guys. Bye. Take one. Three, two, one. <laughs> okay, we'll just cut that part out. Um, no, 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 sit down. Fuck. We're, we're gonna keep going. We're gonna cut oh, it and okay. keep going. Oh. oh, shit. What was I supposed to say? We do have love. I should say, okay, so you should say. You, you could. Alright. Okay, no, I'll say. No, um, say so, number four. Yeah, so. Okay, saying too much. Okay. No? It's okay. You're making me forget what I have to say. I'm sorry, I might keep interrupting yeah, you. Yeah, okay. because I'm gonna forget. Okay. 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 Ready? Wait. You're making me feel some kind of way about my damn lips. I know. I do I need to do my lips again? No, yours look fine. I tell you, should be. Hopping. Doing you. Doing you. <laughs> My ADD just kicked in. <laughs> okay, ready? Okay, go. Oh, sorry. All right, all right, all right. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, ready? Cut. Here we go.